Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be covering how to connect a third party domain to an Amazon Web Services light sale instance. Now, if you're continuing on from a, my previous tutorial, you can basically just go from here and you should be good to go. Otherwise, if you don't have a light sale instance already, feel free to check out my previous videos to how to get one set up. Okay, so the first things first is that we're going to actually go ahead and register a domain name. Now, if you already have one, you can just skip ahead uh, past, past, the, um, past this next bit. Uh, however, if you don't, then just please just follow along and we'll get it sorted in a couple of minutes. All right, so the website I'm using to purchase a domain name is this one here, it's adventureip.com.au. I'm based in Australia, so this is what's handy for me. Um, you know, they, they've got .coms and all sorts of other uh, extensions you can use for your domain name. So. So no matter where you are, there should be a pretty good option. However, if you have something else in mind, feel free to use that. If you do want to use this, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can go ahead and sign up there as well. Okay, so once you're on the site, what you're going to want to do is go to domain names and register a domain name. And from here, you'll type in whatever you want. So it could be, you know, like this. You search it up and just make sure it's available for you to purchase and then you can go ahead and register. Now I won't be doing this picture because I've already registered one and I have a couple spare ones. So once you do that, you'll get taken to a screen that's similar to this one over here. So you should see a screen like this. So I'm going to be using this domain here that I already have. And you're going to go to DNS here on the right. And then from here, you should see a page like this. And then if not, go down here to manage DNS. And then we're going to click on custom name servers right here. Okay. And then we're going to edit that. Now, we'll just leave that there for now. And then we're going to go back to the Amazon Web Services page. And go to here. And then go to networking. And now from here, we can create a DNS zone. It's going to provide us records for the name servers on our domain registration site. So we'll simply create a DNS zone. And here, you're going to type in the domain name that you just registered on Venture IP. So for me, this is this one, like that. And then we won't worry about any of these key value tags or key only tags. We're just going to go create DNS zone after you've had entered your domain name. And create. Cool. So once your DNS zone has been created, you should, you should see these records down here, which is what we need. These are name server records that we need to add uh, to the Venture IP configuration. So if we just copy this here, copy and do this four times. Now you might not have anything here, but I already have one from a previous setup. So I'm just um, copying over them. If you need to add more on the Venture IP site, just click this plus button down here and you'll be able to add uh, what you need to. Cool. And then we set the custom name servers like that. Brilliant, that's done. Okay guys, so from within our new DNS zone that we have created, we're gonna click on that. And now we're going to add some other records that are needed to connect our instance to this domain. So what we're gonna do is just go for here, you'll just do add which will resolve to, um, this is just basically saying that anybody that, you know, just types in your domain name will get resolving, or will get pointed to the address that you specify here. Now, if you followed my previous video as well, you should have a static IP address which you can use. If not, you'll probably be able to see your instance that you've already created. However, it is recommended that you set up a static IP address as if you stop and start your instance you will have a different public IP on your on your instance. So just select the static IP that you have created for your instance, just like that. Tick that off, and then we'll add a couple more. So we'll just do www, and here, adding again your static IP that you created on your instance. Cool, and that is all we need. 
Alright guys, so I've just come onto a different browser here now. So if you type in your domain name now into the search bar, you should now get pointed to or you should be directed to your WordPress light sale instance. So your WordPress website. Um, so if I go here, I'll do that. And there you have it. So if you follow along from the tutorial previously, uh, you would have set up a uh, this this Amazon light sale WordPress website and now we have also connected it to a domain name. Now if you don't get this result straight away and it comes back as an error or something unresolved, double check that you did have the correct name server records and that you also set up uh, the other records correctly as well. Now in saying that it sometimes can take up to 24 hours for what's called um, DNS propagation to happen which is basically the internet sort of refreshing, um, the the internet sort of refreshing, and you know your your records being picked up. So sometimes it can take a while to update, and you know properly direct you to the right spot. However, it's just good to check that you've definitely inserted the right records. Otherwise, you should be good to go, guys. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, in future videos, I will be covering how to actually get a free SSL certificate that you can renew on your light cell instances as well. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks guys.